Hi, I'm back. I'm going to try to make this brief and to the point, but in my last take that I just recorded for this video, I talked for nine and a half minutes. And all I wanted to do was talk about how the two Swift compares to carving a one wheel. And somehow I had a lot more to say. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep it brief. Okay, first thing, my background is in snowboarding, maybe like 25 years. Um, and I just like to carve. I carve a snowboard. It is the best sensation. Secondly, I've been interested in some other board sports more recently, like longboarding um, and, oh, longboarding on the pump track. The pump track's mostly for exercise. And then the longboarding, I've tried to do the longboard dance. <laughs> no, I could do like three steps, but mostly my husband and I just like to cruise around on those. We both wish we got into longboarding or skateboarding earlier in life because we're 40 now and we wish we did it sooner, but we cared too much what people thought. At least I did. I always feel like people judge you when you're on a board. I think it's just my age though. I come from kind of a different time period where skaters were a little more rebellious than they really are. Um, yeah, so I find those board sport activities very engaging. And so that led me to riding a one wheel um, I think for maybe five years now we've been one wheel owners and I've always appreciated the one wheel design. I remember the first time I tried it, I was on a gravel parking lot and I just stepped right on and the one wheel went and I turned it and I controlled it and it was just fine. And that's because of the other board sport experience. So if you are a person who has board sport experience, you know you can try any of these skills and they all um, interrelate, you know. Okay, so another story though about how I even found the two slip because I, I just think it's kind of cool how it happened. So I was watching the Braille Scape video um, where they test things that people send them. So when they pulled the two Swift out of the box, I kind of thought it was a joke because it looked like a scooter without a handle. I'm like, what is that? So once they started riding it, I could see though that there was more to it and noticing that Aaron Cairo is smiling and he's saying, no way, this shouldn't work. Everybody's turning it. They're saying that it, that it carves. Okay, so we know on snow, there's nothing like carving on a real snow surface. That is the best thing in the world. But yeah, whenever someone says it's carving, my interest is perked. So yeah, I was, I was intrigued. I watched the whole video till the end. And then it said in the rolling credits, designed and made in Cleveland, Ohio. And that's where I live. I'm 45 minutes from Cleveland. So I knew I had to try it. I went on my one wheel Facebook group asking, okay, who has one of these two Swifts I can try? I wasn't really expecting a response. I wasn't even sure if other people had heard about them much, but basically it led to me getting right in touch with the company. And the guys who run it were so nice. They offered to give a demo to my husband and I and just come out and show us the boards and let us try them out for free and just give their time. And that was so kind. And um, I will say I was, I was uh, pleasantly surprised. I want to say blown away, but I don't want to be too excited. But no, I really was uh, very surprised in a good way. So... I could talk to you about what it was like that day and stepping on it for the first time and all of that, but I'd rather skip to the point now and talk more about this whole carving thing. Does the two Swift really carve and, and how does it feel? So because of my background, I can't help but talk about the one wheel. So if you ride a one wheel too, you might be able to use this information and maybe notice the differences too. So. Um, what I like about the two Swift is that the carving feels even more fluid and natural than on the one wheel. Um, because the one wheel has that, that foot pressure in the front because the sensor of the one wheel is only in the front, you've always got that little extra bit happening with your front foot as it's controlling your toe and your heel. For me, it's not even that physical, but it's very mental and very aware of my front foot actions because you have to be because the one wheel is very sensitive and that's what make it makes it such a great design you can use very little pressure and get very instant results with turning and, and maneuverability so that can be cool 
I always remembered when carving the one wheel that it still didn't feel like I could lean as much as I wanted to into a turn ever because we're always worried about nose diving and that's a real thing. Um, I mean, it's not always a problem once you have knowledge of how to ride the one wheel, you know, it's, it's not likely to happen to everyone, but it can happen. So I would always want to feel like I could push more and lean, but I couldn't. It was more like I was holding my feet in a certain position and then kind of going easy, you know, so that I wouldn't push too hard on the one wheel. And I could carve it and make it look flowy, but it was more like a forced posture. And it was almost more like I was doing a little extra with my body to make it look like it was flowy. But the actual feeling felt like an extra sense and a little interruption between the carves that didn't need to be there. When I jumped on the two swift, this was gone and I noticed it instantly. And this is because the two swift is such a simple, smart design. You've got a platform, you've got your two wheels, but the back wheel is powered by a motor and everything else is just your own physics and balance. So the platform doesn't have sensors, um, you know, no gyroscope or any of that. And for turning, there, there isn't a sensor pad, you're just turning with your own weight. And this really opened up a new feeling for carving. My first impression was, oh wow, my feet are stable and planted and I can press them however I want. Not that I would want to press them in a strange way. You know, when you're carving, you're, you're, you're carving rhythmically, but it was nice to know you couldn't nosedive or, you know, press too hard or, you know, on the one wheel, sometimes if you do accidentally press a little bit on your back foot, you're going to slow down. So then you have to always compensate with your front foot and you're kind of doing this juggle in your head about the pressure. But the two swift is so relaxing. You plant your feet and you can just push on the edges as you turn. So if you're doing a toe side turn, I always do this for my toes, toes. <laughs> so if you're doing a toe side turn and you're ready to go to your heel, you can like lift up and you can push into your heel and there's a little bit of a pop. It's not like a snowboard pop where your snowboard actually can fling you into the air when you turn. That's like the best feeling when you're carving. But there is a light weight feeling. There is a sense of lifting and there's that lightness in between each turn. And it is such a cool feeling. So if you have a chance to try the two swift and you um, enjoy that carving sensation from other sports, I really recommend it. And don't be discouraged by its silly looks because it does look weird, you know. Sometimes people are like, hey, where's the handle on your scooter? And I just laugh, but it's just a really smart design. Um, oh, my video is eight minutes. Well, at least it's not nine and a half. I was going to talk about hills and brakes. So yeah, it's going to be nine and a half minutes. Ha! All right, real quick though, because it's important to know. The two swift is affected by gravity. Now on the one wheel, you're coming down a hill. It's pretty easy to hold whatever speed you want. And yeah, I have seen people go down really steep hills and they actually just let gravity, let them slide down but that motor is always competing like with gravity and it's not a natural feeling. You're, you're using the motor. So with the two swift, if you come up on a really steep hill too fast and you're not planning ahead, you can have a problem with the brake and maybe not being strong enough. And that might just be because it's the first generation out, but you have to kind of plan and work with the landscape but I really enjoy that aspect and it makes it a little more interesting and it makes me more aware when I'm riding as opposed to the one wheel. The one wheel can feel a bit static and a little bit robotic, but with the two, two swift, you're looking at the, um, the landscape. So yeah, sometimes you can actually ride down the hill and let it let you speed up, which is cool. And then you can slow down as you go up the hill, which I really enjoy. Um, and then lastly, the handbrake. I figured the handbrake would drive me crazy. I just, maybe I was a snob, like, oh, I'm not gonna like it. Oh my gosh, it's past nine minutes and 30 seconds, whatever. So I'm like, I'm not gonna like the hand control, but I will say within five minutes, I didn't care at all because of that good feeling under my feet. So yeah, I hope that helps you get a basic comparison between the two Swift and the one wheel. And if you have a chance, I recommend you try it.